I find it oddly satisfying to create things that, well, in this case don't actually better Sanctuary, but it does improve it by making it more my own, more lived in, and gives it more character. It also frees up a lot of my inventory so I don't have to haul around 20 magazines and all the bobbleheads I find. Sanctuary is mine. It's my home, and it has been for over 211 years, nearly 212 years since we bought our home there now. But I don't see my past life here as much as I thought I would. I don't really feel that it's the home that Nora, Sean, and I shared among people in a different time, all of whom are now, except for Sean, are gone. But when I look in Sean's old room, I do. I feel that. When I see the playground behind Miss Rosa's old home, when I walk down to the river, past the playground and the park tables where we would sit and watch the other kids play, Sean wasn't old enough to crawl yet, but he could see and I held him on my lap as he watched the other kids play. So it's not the homes, but the park that brings a little sadness to me. What's left of it anyway. Maybe eventually I'll get over that, but when it comes to children, I've always had a soft spot. I didn't quite know this until I had my own. They are so innocent and need all the love you can give them. I'm sad for the memories that I'll never have because he's now older and doesn't know me. I really want him to be one of those little boys running around the park, pulling himself up on the climbing dome or getting pushed in the swing by his father. Yeah, my throat closes up a little when I think of that. I miss Nora terribly, I do. But when you add everything I won't experience with Sean into it, it's a real ache in the pit of my stomach. It's like most of me has been torn away. It's painful, and I know that some people just don't get over losses like that, and it pulls them down into a deep pit of despair. Typically, they take their own life. Too many vets have gone down that road. A couple of them I knew myself. It was a long war, after all. One can never get over losses like this, I think. If you make it past a certain point, you will be, well, not okay, you never will be, but your chances will improve. In the Commonwealth, I'm always kept busy. There are so many people to help, and so many people to kill, and so many places to explore. Then there is making things with my own hands, right here in Sanctuary. That is something that I can hold on to, to help cope with what I've lost. I think helping others also does me good. It makes me feel that my efforts here are worthy. I kill when I have to, not because I want to. Killing should never be something you want to do. <laughs> Unless it's because someone has really hurt you like Kellogg did to me. But in general, killing should be a last resort, not a first reaction. I'm not a raider and I never will be. So I think that the loss my loss, my pain, will always be with me, especially when I dwell on it. But the way to continue living is to focus on other things that have meaning to you. It's not a band-aid? Well, it could be considered that because it's not something to actually live for. But I know that someday I will have to focus on loving someone to have a real fulfilling purpose in my life. That's just how human beings are. Sean is still that someone I need to focus on, despite him now being 10 years old and not knowing me. I will bring my son back and teach him everything I know, including modifying weapons and now armor and building things to help at home. Yes, I also know that I will want to love a woman again. It's just not the right time now. I like the idea and look forward to meeting her, but I just haven't the emotional availability within me right now. I think when Sean is back, then I will perhaps be able to open myself up to new loves. But right now, that part of me is as solidly closed as a vault tech vault door. Turn south to Thicket Excavations. What the hell is that? Can you be a little quieter, Piper? I 
try to stealth as much as I can, but I notice something is off here. I just saw a raider walking by there. What well, looks like a raider. You know, the leather. That one looks like a raider too, but it's not always easy to tell from a distance. One thing is clear, it's not just that guy. What was his name? Sully? Yeah, that's the raider I saw earlier. So it's been drained. Let's see just how far it's been drained. Ooh. All right, that's a lot deeper than I thought it was. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely a raider. Look at the mask. They wear crazy stuff like that. I don't know, maybe raiders moved in and took it over. Oh, there's another one. Little outpost, there's a raider right there. It's gonna fire. Well, how close is this to home? Not really. I kind of out. I mean, what I consider home is like the Ranger Cabin, Abernathy Farm, Red Rock Truck Stop, and the Robotics Disposal Ground. But this is a little close to have a bunch of raiders here. I cleared out the sta Satellite Station Olivia, but for all I know, they just moved on to Thicket Excavations. Let's, uh, let's try to get out of here. I need to wage war against 20 raiders or 30 raiders however many are down there. I am curious though. I want to see the bottom. Look at the stairs. There's so many stairs. Still can't see the bottom. Wow. Oh. Heights I've never been too good with. There, Shit. Switch weapons. If there was something here, it's gone now. Hey, stand still, psycho. Stop, seems moves are moving on. Let's get out of here. Who's shooting at us so? Well, this will be an That's a tough challenge. son of a bitch down there. Nice what? Who's here? Kill. From their dogs. Let's get this over with. Oh. Come at us with the baseball bat here. Good job, dog meat. <laughs> pool cue. You're coming at me with a pool cue. All right, they asked for it. I was going to move on when they start firing at us. Typical raiders. All right. Then. Hyper. Shit. Nice. Yes. 
shooting at us from multiple angles. Let's make some grenades up here. Good riddance to this. Ha! Goodness. Oh, I thought you fell to the bottom. You just went down here. You okay? Glad to help. That's why I was really concerned there. I should take a stim pack too. I hear one. What are they doing here? Holy crap, that's far down. Yeah, well, they've drained it to the very bottom. <laughs> they have mire lurks in cages? Are they raising mire lurks down there? I... Sure. Oh, somebody's there. Turpentine, desk fan, stim pack. Oh, Ness. caps. Flare. Cali 50 calibers, uh -huh. lots of flares. Bye. I have 52 flares on me now. I'm just Your thoughts? Out. Anything I can do? I just wanted to know how we're doing. I slept in this one, this trailer. Why do they have mire lurks in cages? That is just so weird. I guess they see a value in it. Value in it? No, I... The meat doesn't taste that bad when it's cooked properly. Flip lighter. I can take the yarn. Decibel wrench. I haven't been in here. Cap stash. Chem box. I didn't come over to this place last time I was here. That's it. Jet. Mine now. Stim pack. Tool case. Oh, he's got a working terminal there. Forty-five. Ten millimeters rounds. 
There's a turret. This is a great shotgun, by the way. I'm glad I took this one. It takes 32 rounds. 32 shells Talk in there. Me. Hey, boy. Hey, come on. Come to Papa. Thicket Excavations Quarry. All vehicles must check in at the office. Safety equipment must be worn at all times. The facility is not open to the public. <laughs> Let's see what he wrote on the terminal. Sugar balls. The light bulb. Shipman log. Oh, this is obviously before the, the end of the world. Tables and tops, pillar pushers, interior slabs, top drawer living. What? Ornate obelisks? I guess they make statues out of the the marble they pull out of there. Play tape and building materials for houses and other stuff. Oh, so Sully did write log in here. So 617. I take it that it's the year of 2287. This is a great spot. With the right crew, I'd have no problem keeping this place locked down. Traders run close enough for easy pickings, but not so close that we end up skinned the whole damn thing's filled with water though figures there's always a catch big ass drainage pump looks mostly intact if i'm lucky it might still work gonna take a closer look tomorrow it's all from june i mean if if that is correct i mean for all i know it wasn't correct he just put in log entries uh yeah so i came out late Oct october 23rd f so four months later after his last, four months and a day after his last entry. So he's been sitting on this. So it would have been some time since then when I came out in this time that I made my way out here. Probably a week or so. Nope, not going to be that easy. Still, pump is in better shape than you'd think. I'd like to head back and grab some tools, but it's pretty late. I'll tinker with it some more. I bed ta down tonight, then head out in the morning. I'm surprised he even knows how to read and write. Shouldn't be too hard now. Glad I grabbed that sledge, even if it was a bitch to carry all this way. Thing was rusted tight. A few good whacks with the sledge cleared that problem right up. Thing made the damnest sound each time, though. You'd swear something was moving around in there. Yeah, now that I think of it, there probably was mire lurks in the water when I was swimming in there. Was able to make most of the connections, patched up the pipe leaks I could find besides the ones in the water. All the noises I've been hearing, I'm not setting foot in there. I'll probably head back and drag one of the new guys over here and make him do it. Yeah, for all I know, this is just days before I ended up here. Like I said, it doesn't have to have been correct, correctly timed. Well, Sully probably is still here. talking about the Meyerlicks. So yeah, that obviously was what was here. I've been in the water. You're coming at me with a tire iron. <laughs> you know I'm in power armor. We've got guns. We've been blowing you guys away. And you come at me with a tire iron. Like, they must be on Psycho. Something that destroys their ability to think. <laughs> How do I get up there? Let's see what they have stashed in this place. If anything. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Hey, I'm gonna drop. Maybe something's down here. Stimpak, 50 calibers. I don't have any guns that could use that. Nuka-Cola. 
Which reminds me, that's something I would like to have. Yes. Nice, big, <sighs> wish it was cold, Nuka-Cola. I just like, like regular Nuka-Cola, actually. The Cherry and the Quantum, I know they're rare, but regular Nuka-Cola is my favorite. I <sighs> don't really need any big drugs right now. More 50 calibers. Uh, 45 combat this. rifle. I already have one. I'm going to look at that. Medex, Psycho. St Rainstorm just started. Used oil can. 10 millimeters. More Psycho. Radex and Fuse. Let's get back in this thing. My T-51 power armor. Nighttime coming on. Oh, this isn't regular. This is a storm. Visibility getting bad. Nighttime coming on. This goes up to. We have another little outpost up there. I don't know. I mean, you're supposed to be able to survive falls. Like, I wouldn't try a thousand feet, but <laughs> it's a few hundred feet from the top down. Well, not from the top, from a little bit further down to the bottom. If I just drop down there, there's no guarantee that I'll be okay, though. This is old power armor, even though I thought I maintained it. Tin can, aluminum can, dandy, dandy boy apples. Tin can, aluminum can, need that metal. All right, I'm gonna drop down where I was almost. Yeah. No, I wouldn't know about that. This guy has some kind of metal leg I should take a look at. I may be able to give it to other people too. Uh, 10 millimeter round. Are you alright, Piper? Let's go. I was thinking I'd get back to, uh, this is the guy I killed with my grenade. Get back to Diamond City. Piper should stay with her sister. She shouldn't be following me everywhere out here. I don't know what she's thinking. And we'll bring Nick back with us. Uh, we're somebody's shooting and I cannot even see where no, it's coming from. not really. There, there we go. I don't see anything. I saw something. He's got a... I don't know what he has. A bat? Something ridiculous. Why are they coming at me with bats? How do these people even survive out in the wasteland? The death claws don't eat them all up. Or ghouls? I don't know, it's beyond me. Rip them to shreds! Come on. They don't know when to stop. Light leather right arm. 10 millimeter round. Chemistry station. Get him! Time to end this. And this goes up here and it goes over to the other side. Oops. Nice. 38 rounds. 38 for yes. a grenade. Well, that's over. Finding all these decals that they have. 
Give me a uh, Minuteman detail. Be nice to rent it up. Buff out. Nuka Cherry. Nice. Jet buff Hell out. Yeah. 308s for my uh, rifle. Uh, sunker rifle. Plasma. <laughs> Didn't know I'm there. 45. I know. Pool cue. He had a pool cue on him. No sign of him now. Here are these idiots. Really? No sign of me now, huh? Tire irons. Are you kidding? Stimpaks. They're, they're using tire irons. Whew. Hey, where's the one I killed over here? Ugh. Yes. Go through the pieces of their body. They're still at the bottom, too. Shooting at us. Screwdriver, canned dog Hell food. Yeah. Wonder glue. Tablespoon, combination wrench. Yeah, I don't care if they see me at this point. I'm just going to wipe them out. Gas canister. Racks of cleaner. Hot plate. Uh, rad lighter, flip lighter, Radix, can. 308, 38s, Wonder Glue, Screwdriver, Duct Tape, Jet, Nuka Cola. Need the steel. Psycho. Shoot them down like the the dogs they are, or is that the rats they are? I think it's the dogs they are. The saying, oil can, aluminum canister, jerry can. I'd like to get to the bottom and see what they have down there. It's probably where all the real stashes are. A can, tin can, oh, tin can. I need to take the beer bottle, but who cares? Alright, we're almost at the bottom. Where their Meyer lurks are. Well, that one got out of its cage. Maybe they were intentionally let out because I know I'm coming down here. Uh, I don't know, but it looks like I'm going to have to kill some. Not attacking. They're used to being around people. Interesting. Oh, well, there's somebody. That's Sully! What you fool? What are you shooting at me for? I'm the one that got you this place. Wow, it does fire fast. It's a hell of a shotgun. I wasn't even going full out with it either. 45 round stim pack. Uh, it's got a star on the shadow armor. It's got nothing. I was going to go up to have this. I'll take all their gas canisters. 45 stim pack. Wonder glue.
Very sad that I have to resort to picking up cams to get a lot of my steel, but... Gotta get it somehow. Seems like the Meyer Lurks can leave whenever they want, so I'll just leave them to their fate here. They're not hurting anybody. Maybe a bunch of Meyer works, Lurks running free will um, dissuade. Hi. Hey, Joe, Buffo, Radix. Combat armor? Combat armor? I'll go with my helmet. It's what we wore during the war. It's light combat armor, but it's still combat armor. Hmm. I don't know. Is that all he had? You guys are poor as hell here. Oil can. Where's the caps? Where's the guns? I mean, most of your guys are work using tire irons and pool cues. Baseball bats. I guess that steamer trunk was it. It's got some kind of pinkish growth on the outside. Looks like barnacles. It's still leaking. Hey, stay away from them, dog meat. They may be used to people. Well, there was one dog here. But I can't actually see them being used to dogs. Just, just in case. Let's get in here. As a dog, I wouldn't want to get close to those things. With those pincers, they can cut your snout off. I guess this is Sully's dream to <laughs> raise Meyer Lurks at the bottom of this place. That's actually kind of pathetic, but... I guess, uh... You do what you can in life, and that was his aspirations. Or maybe that was just their food source. I don't know. I'm thinking he's raising them like cattle so he can sell them. Sell the meat, at least. Duct tape, cram, jet. Yeah, there's lots of Meyer Lurks down there. Okay, we need a place to sleep. I don't want to go back to Concord for that. And I don't want to go all the way down to uh, Grey Garden Home. We're just going to have to sleep where we slept here before. This thing's still running? Why? I can't pull the activator down. It's stuck on on. Oh, I didn't see that there's a... Let's go up here. Sleep where I slept before, I guess. Not too keen on the idea of these things getting out while I'm sleeping, but dog meat will wake us up. In fact, I'm going to put my suit out here. Ooh. Seems like without my suit on, I'm a bit encumbered. Uh, we'll just sleep here for the night. I am tired. Lay it down right here. And we'll be back out in the morning to go explore the rest of the area. Huh. No bad dreams. I haven't had any since, uh... Hey, Piper, it's time to wake up. Heads up. Where to? Come on. That's a plan. Uh, since I killed... Kellogg. Hell yeah. Look alive. The power armor she's in. It's a little beat up. Where's the... I think it's missing legs. I almost have it. Must have gotten damaged. I'll have to repair it when we get back to Sanctuary. Alright, so we're gonna go 
to the Corvega assembly plant. Where did I have it written down? Am I written down? Here, first step, I guess, for the uh, Commonwealth. For the Minuteman. Pit Boy is saying something to the east. Railroad? Not the railroad that people are talking about. Couldn't be. Well, I am seeing train cars, so let's see if I can't open the back of this up. It might be too dented and to move it. Yeah, can't, can't do anything with that. Ghoul. I see a ghoul ahead. Feral, I should say. I guess that's a bit of an insult to actual ghouls. There's two of them. Alright. Uh, let's get down. Let's do this. I don't know where I am. Now they do. Son of a... Why are the flies here? Ah. Yes. Jeez. All right. Wish I could have a nice coffee to wake me up, but I haven't had one of those since the old the old world. Okay, so let's go with the Nuka Cola. At least it has some caffeine in it. Uh, yeah, I need to do this. Some dog food tastes almost like the cram. And dandy boy apples. Good enough. Let's go and check out this train station. I'm fighting ghouls, I find the best weapon is a shotgun. Pre-war money. Oop. Oops. This is all just another day for me. Well, this is so loud, you'd think that all of them would come over here if there's any more out there. Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. They have a lot of pre-war money on them. Which makes me think that they're from before the war. What the hell? This one moved backwards. Where did it go? That was weird. Ooh, we're not alone here. I'll take care of them. Let's just get this over with. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Yep, it's over. Headshots are the best. There's a lot of them here. Ah, oh, they're all coming out. Son of a bitch. Whoa! That was not me. Okay, watch out. <laughs> nice job, dog me. Still coming. How many bloody ferals are here? 
Cigarette pack. Pre-war money. That's worth quite a lot now, which is weird. Wow. Something I missed over here. Zimpack, right away, purified water. Serve cigarette pack, pre war money. Oh, it's a working terminal. Loading dock terminal. I can't see this being too exciting, though. Cargo regulations. May 21st, 77. All cargo manifests are to be logged to this terminal. Logs will be maintained locally for six months before being archived to holotape. Intake shipments occur between 8 a.m. and 8.30. Delivery to the quarry is expected no later than 12 o'clock. No exceptions. Output shipment occurs between 15 and 1700. Cargo designated uh, 000 miscellaneous should be forwarded to the quarry. Notify Foreman Latham Lanaham upon arrival for further instructions. Now this sounds like it's almost come from Wicked Shipping. I think I had something going on here. View cargo manifests. The day before the bombs. Uh, drill parts, rebar, steel wire, miscellaneous. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Output granite. 24 tons. They're shipping granite out of here. This is the day of the bombs. Rebar. Uh, fastenings? Electrical wire? It's not, as I thought, not very exciting. No one's personal logs about what's going on with their life. How it all ended. Gas canister, duct tape. Joke. Wonder glue, turpentine, fuse. Okay, let's go inspect down here. Maybe we'll find what they were shipping around on a whole case full of uh, old US dollar bills. I mean, that would be very valuable. I guess just for the cloth, but... I'll just take this. What's this marking? This was by uh, Vault 111, where that somebody had set up a chair, oh, like an observation post. Stimpak, right away, cram. Light combat armor chest piece. I'm going to take it. I'm going to have to... Now that I'm into um, working on armor... Take that. See what I can do with it back home. Nothing on there. Can I open this up? Ah, uh, not quite tall enough. Can't jump it high. This is no ghoul. Dutchman's instructions. What the hell? Bottle cap, 45. Yes. What's Dutchman's instructions? Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Huh? Well, obviously this is something recent. The ghouls must have taken this guy out. Let's see what's in here. Blue barrel. So midnight. I mean, for all I know, this happened just this morning. This uh, staircase doesn't look very safe. Unless you want not power armor. Get the fan. Oil can. Wrench. Use that steel wherever I get it from. Okay. Station Master's Terminal. Critical failure on the track switching system has been detected. Please clear the tracks. Yeah, I'll bet. Play tape. It's half past. She's late. No. Something's wrong. Someone's coming. Look. Fire. 
life of them. It's a trap. Damn it, they've got us surrounded. What do we do? Uh, I'll draw them off. Give me a count of ten, then uh, break for the tree line. What? Dutchman, I... There's no time. Good luck, A9. I didn't hear that name. E9? E9? A9? That makes me think something else happened here. Um, that was automatic weapon. That guy had a pipe pistol. And they said they're surrounded. Would they say that if they're a bunch of ferals? Yeah, this is just a pistol. He was gunned down by an automatic weapon. Blue barrel. Did this train car have something to do with it? Somebody was staying here. Cap stash, 17 caps. Rat right away. Blue barrel. Honestly, hey, don't know what I that could be. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Let's just focus on the task at hand. Oh, it's you talk to me. I was wondering what that was. Oh yeah, this um these train cars are gonna be immobile. Okay. We are going south. It's actually not that far, Corvega plant. You should be able to see it from here, but I guess the trees are blocking it. Nuka cherry. those logs aren't mush. Oh, it's one of those strange reptilian dog things over there. I'm starting to see those wherever I go. I don't know. Some of them are really tough. I, uh, I wouldn't want to run into a whole pack of them. This is new to me. A reptilian Sorry. dog. I don't know what to say. Fish dog. or repti Actually, they, they just look like reptile scales. Who knows? I mean, what else they have? What's or what? Sorry, what else they? Um, I don't know that species, so I don't know what it's capable of. Here's the Corvega plant. So this would be uh, Lexington, right? Well, Concord was here. Lexington should be right here, and then right south of that is Cambridge. Cambridge Police Station's right there. There's a lot of buildings in the way before I can get to it. Looks like we can make it over here. Yeah, we found Lexington. Pit Boy says we're there. And I wouldn't be surprised there's if there's a couple hundred ghouls here. Ferals. Says the crows. We're right, at a super duper mark. Where's the entrance? I wouldn't mind checking that out. See if they're. What the, f what the hell was that? see the entrance to this. It's got to be right over here. Big signs right there. We'll go in there then. We have a parkade here. What's this? The raiders set this up. Watch for traps. Goes down below. Let's 
Let's go down. I don't know, it could be Ghoul City down there. <laughs> I would think it would be. This actually isn't a bad spot. Well, no, it is because the ghouls can climb right through there and eat you while you sleep. 10 millimeters. Sweet. Scissors, I'll take it for this metal bandage scissors. Don't need the glass, really. Oh, there's a guy right there. Maybe he's. He doesn't. He looks like he's a traitor. Red Rocket gas station. Mass chemical. Hey! Hi. I'm sure I have something. Oh, uh, what do you have? Let's see what you have. Meat. Ah, ghouls, ghouls. What the? Nice. They will know what hit him. Hostility mode activated. That's over. <laughs> Hostility mode activated, huh? Do you have to even say it? Oh, I take it he's a hunter, but he's just out here. Oh, Holy crap! Where I'm shooting. Why are you shooting at me? Did one of us accidentally hit him. Hey, uh. Come on, let's go. Last thing I need to do is start killing people who live in the Commonwealth who aren't ghouls or raiders or super mutants. Yeah, let's call this off. Let's go and uh, hang out someplace for a little while. What's this? Right away. I think he's still following us. I'm not sure. Did we shoot his dog, perhaps? He wasn't even there. Why is his dog running around? Maybe his dog was killing ghouls and somebody shot him. It wasn't me. Hopefully he'll go away if we just go hang out someplace for an hour. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.